Ah, welcome back, viewers, to another episode. Let's play Heroes of Might and Magic 2. With me, best one here. I suppose we'll be heading back to the castle there. Click the move. It is once again no longer functioning. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Where are we at with things? Are there any heroes encroaching in our territory? We're not too worried about. Most of it, just this area here. It's so hard to tell, there's so much clutter. At least we got some resources there, finally. Uh, could always collect those dwarves every once in a while, but uh, I did use dwarves extensively in my previous uh, go through, but uh, no, I haven't been using them so much. I suppose if I properly used them, I got to use them. Them. Use the lies them. I'd probably be done by now. And you know what? As a matter of fact, just period, point blank, simple explanation. If Sando didn't have whatever the hell kind of crazy artifacts he has, you know, then yeah, I'd be doing a lot better. Grab our three bone dragons there. Grab our leeches. How far away are we from getting in this mansion? Pretty far, but we do have some resources to trade. And we'll grab our war trolls over here, and we'll grab our ogre lords over here. Turn the page, those are relatively secure castles. Green is all over the place, but hopefully I don't have to worry about them too much. And they took that castle without any fuss. Yeah, they did, of course, okay. Look, okay, here we go. We got this person headed down here to get Sandro. So I don't, hold on, what's keeping me from going like that? Okay, what do they got? All right, let's go here. Hopefully we should be able to get Sandra as long as he doesn't have like ridiculous movement as well. Uh, it depends on which way he goes. That's my biggest priority at the moment, is just taking Sandra down. I guess I'll take her over there and get dwarves. Might as well, there's no point in missing out on troop strengths that I could get. Okay, let's see if I can get to Sandra. Ah, oh, so close, you bastard. Who's this? Whatever, Faligar. Faligar! That's what I'm gonna term it. Hopefully he'll waste some movement doing something or another. Really? Five? Five is what you're gonna give me? Do you have any overlooked troops here? Go to the uh, towns and castles view. We'll let you know if you have any overlooked troops that you can grab. I gotta say, those 33 pikemen could potentially do something. Not much else. Not much else. Wish these guys would always convert towns and crap. I'm gonna keep him within a day's ride of that. I'm not gonna actually go there. I'm gonna get these doors. And then I'm gonna bring her back. 
over here, so... I don't really care about this hero, but I, you know... Just at least not let that be a free attack. It is just take up video time, basically. Okay, where'd Falgar go? I think I can reach him. Yeah, here we go. Not Falgar. Sandra, Falgar was down here, except he went to go take that night castle. I can take it back. No problem. Uh, he can't get there in one turn, so once he get before he gets there, I'll recruit everything I can. Oh, this is nothing. This is not... How did he get those artifacts? Okay, let's break this down by speed. Average. Average. Fast. Average, so... Druids can almost certainly kill them. Archers can kill them. These guys are... Average. Okay. Didn't kill him. Dang it. So he's gonna get a lot of damage in on my troops with his death wave and stuff. But I should be at least able to kill him. Watch him catch death wave. Whatever, dude. Like, I really care about my unicorns. That's my least important troop. Well, he fled, so they'll get him back, but at least he's now a non factor, so we'll go back and get that castle. Yeah. Which day is it now? Day five. And they're wanting to come to my night castle. What do they got? Oh, that's Faligar, isn't it? That's Faligar. Yeah. So let's bring down my grizzly man here. Wait, I don't know if I'm even going to have to do that. What do I have in my garrison? I don't think he can take it. But I'll head down that way just in case. Maybe it's just a gambit though, huh? Costed me some money. Why does green always become annoying? Totally thought they were going to try to take that one over. God, I thought this would be the last video. I'm so tired. I'm not tired of this map. I'm just tired of dicking around with these same guys. This is going to be beyond easy. I'm not even going to set up a garrison here. They did develop this here, this castle though. Just like I said they would. Shoot, I should have let them have it longer, huh? Take it on day seven though. Bring her back up around here. No, not there. Let's go to this crossroads here. Check out here up here. doing with her. Okay, he changed his mind about going there. I'll stay there. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Nothing left to do but turn the page. They're invading my territory, but it's too late. All I gotta do is take over their castles and wait it up. I almost made it through this map really fast, but I probably would if it hadn't been for Sandro. It's day one. Guess what that means? That means I have a total of seven bone dragons. And it means I have a total of 16 power leeches. Can I upgrade these guys? Hmm. What do I need to do that? I have 10 crystal, I need 10 of this. Uh, let's see. Got it. It's worth it. Wait for the other six. Move her out here. Faligar? You fucking bastard. Alright, you know what? Sure, I'm gonna be able to take this castle though. Because you left this stuff here. So let's build a turret. Not only you'll be able to do it. Show me. Prove it to me. I don't believe it. I don't think you'll be able to do it. That guy move her in here. Just got to prove it. But me. Gotta hate these guys. Alright, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Heroes of Bite Magic, and I'll see you next time, viewer.